Okay, so hi. Um, it's me again. So, um, a friend asked me to do. This hair is loud. A friend asked me to do a video on um, gay spirituality, and my friend is Darren Owens. Um, but this really great book, Lead Your Hearts. An amazing, it's an amazing book. You should go out and get it. Um, definitely go to this website, check it out. I'll put it in the comments or the thing. So go to the site, get this book. Lots of good stuff. Um, amazing person. Um, but wow. Uh, that's not sure you can hear me. So I, I hope that this comes out well because. You can't really see it on the little flip camera. It's like how it's going to come out, so you're done. So you like you record forever and then hope for the best. So, but anyway, so gay spirituality. Um, yeah, I think it's a very important thing, um, especially in this day and age. You know, as we move forward and, and everything is progressing at such a rapid rate. I mean, look at all the changes that have happened just in the past. Um, year so far. I mean, everything has evolved itself into the next big thing. You know, with Obama getting elected, you know, the African American um, movement really crashed right through that ceiling, you know, and they really moved forward in their progress, which is amazing. Um, but now, you know, you look at the gay rights movement, and now it's we're the last frontier, really, as far as affecting change and making change in the world around us. Um, so I think it's important to have a link into some sort of spiritual practice or some type of spirituality. I think, you know, it can feel like you're not going anywhere. It can feel like the whole world is just weighing down on you. I mean, you look around and there are people are arguing about marriage, they're arguing about, you know, right to work, and it's just, we're still in a state of constant stress and turmoil, and um, this thing starts to anchor you down because you, you're unable to feel as if though you're moving forward. Um, so having a sense of spiritual release is, is definitely a very powerful thing, and I think it's something that it's very important for all of us to connect to. Now, I'm not saying you have to go out and worship some particular deity, but what I'm saying is really just find a connection to the oneness. There is a greater sense of oneness out there. I'm not saying you have to believe in a Christian god or Buddha or you know the flying spaghetti monster. Um, what I am saying is just find something that you can connect with, even if it's yourself. Um, believe in something, you know. Um, it's like meditating. Meditating is something that's very powerful. It's something that's very important for everyone to do. But uh, a lot of people don't do it because they feel there's some kind of spiritual thing connected to it. There can be, but meditating is just finding moments for yourself. I mean, that's an important thing to do. One, for your health. Two, for the sense of stress relief that you'll get. And three, that you can face any challenge without the burden of like all those excess thoughts that hold you back. Um, I think, you know, being gay and um, myself and finding that, that connection to my own spirituality, I think you get lost because it's that other spirituality that's always telling us that we're wrong, that we shouldn't be who we are, that, you know, we're going to burn in hell because we're gay. Um, but that's just their take on it. I mean, really, come on. You know, nowhere does it really say that we're going to be the ones that burn in hell. The text that they read from the Bible is stuff that's been manipulated through time, and people only pick and choose what they want out of the Bible. I mean, so then we should stone people who are adulterers. I mean, we should still have slaves. Um, if you go in accordance with um, you know, factual and actual text from the Bible. But, you know, we've evolved, so here we are. And this great day in time, you know, and, and as we move forward, you know, and as the older generations die off, the next generation, they don't have the same biases and the same um, hang-ups that we have. Um, the, the wonderful thing about this time is that people are learning to think for themselves, more so than letting others think for them. Um, religion has really done 
so much more to create fear of God rather than acceptance and love of God. Um, so, so yeah, you know, connect to something, um, especially like if you're if you're if you're in a constant state of stress and distress about who you are, that can weigh you down completely. Um, whether it's being gay, or it's being a woman, or it's being an African American, it's not just a singular issue. Uh, it's just the one that you know I'm the most connected with, being gay. Um, to see gay youth commit suicide because they don't think that God is going to love them. Um, to see people throw themselves into drugs and alcohol because they can't accept themselves for who they are. Um, so I think it's very, very, very important to find some sense of connection to this wonderful world that we live in, um, some deeper sense of connection to the soul that we all have within us, um, so that we can radiate that light from within so that everyone can feel more connected. Um, I'm going to do some more on this down the road. Um, this is just my little in your face kind of thing. Oh uh, yeah, I got piercings. Like every time I do a video, there's like more stuff that appears on my face and my neck and stuff. And um, yeah, so that's pretty much it for right now. Um, Darren and I are going to be working on an actual workshop about gay spirituality. So um, we're going to work that up. We're going to make it into a big old cake and then we're going to serve it up to all of you. Um, and if you have any questions or anything specific, you know, put them down in the comment section down below and we can discuss and talk. Visit my website, um, michaelbrazel.com, M-I-C-H-A-E-L, Brazel, B-R-A-Z-E-L-L.com. I feel like I'm rapping or something, but uh, I hope I don't look too horrible today. So, so go out, read of hearts, get this book. Amazing book, lots of good stuff in here. Um, help you to connect with that higher sense of self, you know. And that's that's great, you know. You know, when there's there's folks out here doing the work, you know, and, and um, you know, the only thing we really ask in return is that you go out and do the work and share with others as well. So I hope this helped out some. Uh, it's just my take on this, and uh, I'll be talking about it a little bit more because I really like this topic. So, ah, talk to you later. Bye.